of Psalms 2 and 3. Let us break their bands asunder uh -huh. and cast away their cords from us. Yeah. Get away from you, you know, get away from you damn nations, man. You gotta break those bands, man, because for one, it's not gonna it's gonna come to naught anyway, man. Okay, this is a big problem for, for the world, man. We got man, we got brothers in uh overseas, man. Brothers in London, brothers what in Holland. We got brothers in what, Mexico City? We got brothers everywhere, man. Africa, four corners, four corners of the round earth, baby. And we know everybody's seeing this. And that love, you can miss what that love, this is love. We telling our people to wake up. We telling our people to set their alarm. We telling our people to be on watch. We telling the people why they in the situation they in, man. and 17. Uh -huh. We're going into what love really is. It says, this is the law. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Yeah, that, that neighbor is another fellow Hebrew Israelite, man. You know? Even though, you know, even though the two-thirds go off, man, it's like, man, move, move around, bro. You know? But as for you, as far as you other nations or the Lord created us all, the Lord did, you're not going off one bit. He created us all, but he created a, a, a certain seed to, to take heir to the throne, bro. Okay, to bring back. Okay. You know? Anyone ever? Okay. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15. It says, but uh, but it shall come to pass if thou if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the how of thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And chapter uh, twenty eight of Deuteronomy, one through what one through one through fifteen was all the gifts, all the blessings I should say. And then 15 and all the way into what, 68? Hell. Hell to pay. We're gonna run through some of them and then, you know, brothers got you know precepts, you know, bring them on out. It says, it says, curse shalt thou be in the city, mm -hmm. and curse shalt thou be in the field. That's right. Curse shalt thy basket and thy uh so like it, it says knee trump, knee trump, but it's uh another word for that. Uh, oh, it says, uh, curse out thy basket and thy store. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I, I was thinking about store. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's store. Yeah. Store. Yeah. Store. Yeah. That, that, goes, that goes into curse and basket and store. It's talking about your wallet and your bank account. Man. Uh, the basket is your wallet and, then, and, then, and your store is your bank account. Yep. You know? And who suffers from that, man? Our people do, man. Hell, yeah, you can watch uh, the, the 30 for 30. Jay getting all that money, man. But it was a it was a beautiful it was a beautiful aspect because uh, one of the brothers had put me on to it. He said he said the beautiful thing about that it just wasn't Jake. You know, you had Edomites in there like stinking up the field with their money, man. But this more so, hey, it, that, that's still a curse, man. We the flag of the earth. We supposed to be knowing how to manage money, bro. Not blowing it on on broads and BS that that's, that has no value to it. But a lot of these Jake who get drafted to these teams ain't come from nothing, man. It says, "Cursed shall be the fruit of thy of thy body and the fruit of thy land and the increase in thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall be cursed shall thou be when thou comest in and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out." Cursed all around, man. You, you, man, you, man, you cursed when you come into this, to this hell hole, man. But that, in a sense, that we created for ourselves because we went off against the heavenly Father, and you know. So 
Hey, going in, going out, waking up, going to bed. Man, the only way you'll understand this is if the Lord put the Spirit on you to understand these scriptures, man. To bring it out, man. Okay, and certain, hey, certain brothers may not be able to. Hey, certain brothers may just be friends of the prophets, bro. That's just real talk. Certain brothers may just be friends of the prophets, man. That has to be understood, too. But you know, do what you can do, man. So, so you can understand these curses. Go ahead, brother. Come on. It says, Curse shalt thou be when thou comest in, and curse shalt thou be when thou goest out. Uh -huh. Yahweh shall send upon thee curses, vexation, uh -huh. and, and rebuke. In all that thou saidest thine hand to do uh, until thou be destroyed. That's right. And that has that not happened? Rebuke, man. The so-called black man, so-called Latino man, the so-called Native American man can't turn anywhere without the finger being pointed at him, man. But that's but hey, once again, it's for good reason. You, you, you'll understand that, but a lot of more uh, people, they don't get it, man, a rude awakening. These other nations are too, man. Tell me, man, all you gotta go to go to YouTube and World Star, see Negroes getting their damn head beat in. It ain't even the black man no more, it's the woman now. I'm seeing I'm seeing damn near as many women getting shot and beat up by the cops than these men on the side. Can't nobody say I'm lying. I'm on Atlantic, uh, what's that, Atlanta Star? That's the, they, uh, they got a pretty good site. Atlanta Star, uh, YouTube of course, uh, World Star and this other links, the, the Roots, uh, the Huffington Post. Cops always making the headlines of beating our people up, man. Getting their ass beat. God, it says, uh, and until thou perish quickly mm -hmm. because of thy wickedness of thy, of thy doings, yeah. whereby thou hast forsaken me. Yeah, you have forsaken the Lord, man. Okay? Because the Lord, the, the Lord set up a beautiful thing for us here on earth, man, but we want to do our own thing. Like we was reading earlier about the prison houses. Our people... Our, our people overpopulate that place due, due to systematic oppression, but also being hard hit. Because you, you have some people wrongly accused of crimes they didn't commit. Then also on the, on, the, on the backhand side, you had to hustle and be fly. It, it's not supposed to work like that. But before, before, before you thinking that it has to work like that, the Lord's gonna show you the end result. Go ahead, brother, brother, for sure. It says, and Yahweh shall make the pestilence Leave unto thee mm -hmm. until he have consumed thee from off the land. Pestilence, man. What if the uh, you know I, I follow music, I enjoy, it. I do music. So what's the uh, the, uh, the rapper uh, Prodigy he died of sickle cell, right? A, a lot of other uh, Israelites who are suffering from lupus. Uh, certain uh, the the black woman from uh, from the uh, hair issues, uh, alopecia, sickle cell. Uh, other diseases I can't even think of right now, man. The hell, the, uh, the Tuskegee experiment. That, that's a pessimist, man. Syphilis? Yeah, syphilis. Yeah, STDs, herpes. herpes. Gout. Yeah, all our people leading in that, man. That's what that's talking about, man. Okay? It says, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Uh, you forsaken the Lord. Go ahead. Yahweh shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land. That's right, until he's got your ass off the land, man. Our people are dying in high numbers, man. Okay, go ahead, brother. To which thou goest to possess it. Uh-huh. Yahweh shall smite thee with the with the consumption. And with a fever, uh -huh. and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword. And with the blasting, and with the mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Have we not been pursued by the so-called white man and these other nations? I mean, bro, they they, still, they bringing cases back from 2016, 14, 13. They, they bringing back up old cases, man. Because our people what? They hit with the curses, man. They getting hit hard and heavy with the curses. It says, and uh, in th thy heaven, and uh, thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Mm. And Yahweh shall make the 
grain of thy, of thy land powder and dust. No enjoyment. We, we have no enjoyment in this captivity, man. Because what the scriptures say, the heaven, the streets going to be paved in gold. We're clearly not in heaven right now. This, this bro, this, this backwards ass society of Esau, man, this is heaven to them, man. They, they, they cool with these over power, over towering buildings. Okay, they, 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 they cool with everything that's on the left hand side. Okay, their heaven is our hell. Go ahead, brother. It says, it says, Yahweh shall make the rain of thy land powder uh -huh. and dust. Uh -huh. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. Uh -huh. Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten, uh -huh. smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them mm -hmm. and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. That's right. Has that not happened with, uh, remember uh, Nat Turner in the revolt? Then Mark Vesey? It's been a total of 23 slave revolts. Okay? Jake, you know, breaking away. Jake and them other captivities with, uh, with Ham, with, uh, Air, with the Arabs. Everything, man, from the from the historical standpoint of this, because that real talk, the true history is from here, and then it's broken, it's broken down in here, but it's played out on Earth. This ain't like nothing made up, man. These atrocities have happened. These atrocities have happened because we've been disobedient. Go ahead, bro. Right, it says, uh, it says, uh, the Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and be seven ways before them, uh -huh. and thou sh and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Uh -huh. And thy carcass shall be shall be food unto all the fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth. And no man shall fray them away. Yeah, man. Did that not happen, man? Did when we were uh, persecuted, man, or hung from trees, Jake burnt alive. They getting their rod cut off, stuck it, stuck off in their mouth. All these things have happened. I'm not sitting here once again making stuff up. These are these are the curses. It's why you get beat by police. It's why you got judges making up uh, uh, false uh, cases against you, who are purposely sending Jake to prison, man. Sending Jake to prison. And this was Jake uh, in their, uh, like, they're young adults, but they, these are Jake and their quote-unquote young youth. Okay? That's documentation over there. You had judges making deals for money, man, for getting money under the table for our, uh, our young people, man. Getting paid for that. It's all documented. Okay? It says, Yahweh will smite thee with the boil of Egypt, uh -huh. and with the tumors, and with the scab, and with the itch, Whereof thou canst not be healed. Man, sound like lupus to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sounds like diseases, man. Pestilence, man. Heartache, heart disease, alopecia. Okay. Uh, hey, who was that? Uh, that one Jake from uh, who played uh Bobby Bird in the James Brown uh, uh Get On Up? Uh, who played James Brown right hand man? And I think he played on uh, True Blood. Right? True Blood, yeah. He just had a uh, what heart failure? Yeah. Yeah, he had, he was 39. Dude, a couple of years older than me. The one who played James Brown? Yeah. No, the no, the one who played uh, Bobby Bird. Oh, Bobby Bird. Oh, yeah, his right hand man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Right. That dude just passed. He was 39 years old, man. Yeah. That's hey, that's a curse, bro. 39 and a heart and heart failure. Prodigy with uh, sickle cell at 42. Although, you know, if I'm not mistaken, he was born with it. But hell, that probably had to do, that probably had to do with uh, his mother's diet. Cause he spoke, the funny thing that guy spoke on that, uh, like, you know, he, it was crazy when Jake, you know, did his little time in penitentiary. He said they never taught nutrition. He said, Jake was never taught nutrition. He said, especially for the illness he had, he was never taught nutrition and how to deal with it. Cause a lot of, for the most part, a lot of these man-made diseases can be overcame, man, if it's meant for it to be, man, with just the medicines that the Lord has to have naturally put on earth. Right. Okay? It, it could be it could be naturally cured, man. 
Okay, this is you gotta understand, man. Esau is the damn devil, man. Okay, he's sitting here perpetuating that you know about our our health. But bro, why are you? Why do you have these things available to the public? Okay, but our people are sub, uh, 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 subjugated to it because because we're under the curses, man. Shouldn't be consuming. Like dozens of, uh, like, uh, what's that? The, uh, I don't want to say the wrong name. Uh, the donuts, the Miss Bear's donuts with the white powder and the chocolate donuts. You know what I'm saying? For the moment, them shits be good. Like, man, they ain't ate, man. It was early. I missed breakfast, bro. That's not, that's not a, nutri a nutritional breakfast, man. And we all fall short, bro. Jake, bro, a, a, a chicken sandwich is not always the biz every day, bro. And we all, you know what I'm saying? Well, Chick fil A is right here, bro. It ain't, you know, they, Man, we under the curses, man. But we explain it to you why. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you know, um, we saw when it comes to health and all these things, you know, they they uh, they really now nowadays they're really pushing out, you know, uh, pretty much lies. You know, I read an article uh, that said, you know, that you know doctors came together and decided that it might be healthy now nowadays to be to be a little fat. You know, <laughs> Know, like not, not overweight, but to be a healthy fat is what they what they use. You know, the worst they use. You know? So it's like, like, damn, how can you be healthy fat? You, know, like, you can't pull yourself up. You know, you can't, you know, you can't even do a walk pull up. You know, how are you supposed to uh, be able to you know, maneuver when certain things happen? That's right. You know, it's like you know, like damn, you see, you see, you see this, this dude lying about your health, telling man, yeah, you can be. Fat, you know, you got this, you know, there's, there's a certain area where you can be fat and you're healthy, and that helps, you know, and, you know, they, they try to justify it with their bullshit. Uh, yeah. like, Esau, Esau, Esau will push the problem on you just to sell you the solution, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. and, and, and that just goes to show you Esau knows our people suffer from the curses and they capitalize off of them. Yeah. They capitalize off of our sickness and our, our mental. A disability that the Lord cursed us with, right. you know, like right. uh, uh, the majority of our women suffer from what they call postpartum, where the woman has animosity towards their infant child. Man. You know, they even have thoughts of, of killing their child because uh, they're so messed up in the mind after having a child. You know, it's supposed to be a joyous thing to have a child. You know, in this is in the world, but not in this society, of course. But but uh, the curse says that. Uh, the woman is going to hate uh, our woman is going to hate the child that she bears. You know that's a curse. That's that's what postpartum is. Yep. If, if our women understood the scriptures and the truth and they, and they repented, you know maybe they still might suffer from it. But ultimately they'll understand why they suffer from it and fear the Most High. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And that goes yeah, that postpartum goes back to the beginning of the time. You know, uh, the curses. Man, so we did a we we uh what's that thyroids? Don't black like women suffer from that too? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Alright, this is uh Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And, he's, and unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. Okay, yeah. Time. The sorrows of the conception. Did the brother not just go into that? The post oh, the postpartum? Postpartum. Postpartum. That goes to the beginning of time, man. Those 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 pains, those birth pains. The woman don't uh maybe y'all like shitty, like I you know, I ain't I ain't expecting to be in the in the greatest but then again, it's a beautiful process to have a child, but our women suffer the most. Why is that? Because under the curses, man. We are under the curses. Ain't no ands, ifs about it. Okay? Ain't none of that nonsense. Jake, like Jake know, Jake know they're special people, but they can't quite put the puzzle pieces together, man. Man, we kings, we this and that. Hey, I can't disagree with you, but at the moment, we servants right now, man. We at the bottom, bro. 
Let me tell you about the scriptures, but Jake always what? Turn they back, so guess what? Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, gonna keep applying to you until you get it, man. In that, in that same chapter, a few, a few verses before, you know, it says, uh, uh, you shall be, wait, I'm not going to say this, that's it. Actually, it's like, it was on that, on that same verse, you know, in sorrow that shall bring forth children. You know, like, you got women today, you know, you know, when they find out they're pregnant or even after birth, you know, they're like, man, how am I going to take care of this kid? I don't think that, you know, I can't really... You know, so that's why they have abortions and some shit like that, you know, that's why they do whatever it takes you know, to pretty much get rid of that child so they won't have to deal with it. And that's, and that's a curse, man. You understand that? Like, bro, chicks, I, I seen it like when I was a young man, when I was about 17 or 18. I'll take that back to life. I was, I was a freshman, I believe. I believe I was a freshman in high school, anywhere between that. And chicks would be ready to drop a baby. They ain't dealing with the dude no more, but they still trying to, yo, when I drop this baby, I'm a hollage. How much of a cursed situation that is, man. These women don't even be fully through with their birth process and be looking for a man. Just think about how backwards that is, man. That, that, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's sick, man. I ain't really. Oh, but with that postpartum, this is what I was going to say. They have prescription medication for postpartum for our women's mentality on uh, the hatred that they have towards their children after birth. You know, with the, with the, with the, uh, medication, medication is the, this word, you know. This is, a, I'm going to jump down to 56. We're going to continue, but I'm going to jump down to 56. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 56, it says, the tender and delicate woman among you uh, who would not uh, venture to set her soul or, foot, or her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Damn. Is that what the brother was just not going into? I'm telling you why, man. And toward her young one, and toward her young one, who cometh out from between her feet. <laughs> yeah. and, fr and from her young one that cometh out from between her feet. Damn. Bird. Did the brother does not talk about punk? That's beautiful, man. God, if this brother don't beat me to it, I'm gonna do a sit down. God, God, bro. God. That's a man, that's a curse. That's a curse. And it, think about it, because our women, our nation of our women, evil is, eyes evil towards us, man. You can see that with customer service. I know brothers in experience, you'll be behind, you'll be behind a so-called Edomite. She hella nice to him, you get up. She, uh, you just the worst thing ever, okay. I'll be like, man, hey, because honestly, man, sometimes you don't even like dealing with Jake like that. Like, man, you know? You know, I, I'd, I'd rather, you know, I'm like, but look, man, you know what I'm saying? Because something we have to understand, the woman is thine enemy as well, according to the scriptures. If I could make a point, too, uh, in this world, abortion is a woman's choice, so the man has no choice in it, you know? So so if the man, if the man, you know, the father of the child um, resents, resents the woman having an abortion, he really has no say to it. The woman can do it if she wants to. There's other nations you know, that, uh, that having an abortion is frowned upon. Yep. You know, I saw an article I forgot what nationality she was, but there was a woman that had a stillborn baby, uh -huh. and she was sentenced to uh, a certain amount, a certain amount of time in prison. You know. So it's like that's how, that's how you know this is bad, mom, man. When they just a lot of group shit like that. You know, that's like a, uh, you know, that's committing murder, pretty much. You know. And, and now yep. they got these interesting scenarios. They said, well, since y'all giving these women these choices, now they giving, now, now they had an interesting scenario. I forgot who put it out, but it was like, well, our dudes should dudes be given a choice to not take care of the child. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And then people were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But for one, we under the curses. Then we under that uh, queen of heaven vibration. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's, that's, that's very beautiful that brother brought that out because so you know, man, they, they, this, is, this is a curse, man. A woman has the right to kill the child, but the man has to take care of the, yeah, the, the baby. The man, yeah. It's Period. crazy. Like, and, we, and we say that in that way because, look, we know up here, from the apostle going down, just a man in general, you have a child to take care of. You have a car, you're going to pay the monthly fee on it. You have a pet, you're going to take care of it. You have a child, you're going to take care of it. But here in the society, like your brother said, you have the option to kill the child. And who leads? Our our uh, our people, our, our women do. Our, our women lead in that nonsense, man. You know, our women lead in that nonsense. That's a curse. They just said it right here in the Holy Scriptures, man. Yeah, not people on the no, it says, and Yahweh shall smite thee with madness. This is on uh, 28 28. And Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Yeah, yeah even, bro, even, even though our people are getting these crazy contracts in the NBA and NFL, all of a sudden, you're still not prospering, man. Warren Buffett money and uh, Bill Gates money is laughing at you. And that's a damn good amount, you know. That, and for one, it's not really money, but that's like, quote unquote, a good, you know, good amount. You know what I'm saying? But still, somehow, these Jake can still lose Lose that amount of money, bro. Look at Mike Tyson. He was worth 300 million. Now he got right here a tattoo on his damn face and crazy as hell. Getting bits and pieces of movie parts. You see what I'm saying? That's a curse, man. You know? Okay, come on, let's go. This is Baruch chapter 1, verse 19. Uh -huh. Since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt uh -huh. unto this present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our power. That's right. And we have been ne negligent in not hearing his voice. That's right. That's why all this hell. That's why you're catching all this hell. That's why you're getting beat down in the streets. That's why you're getting shot on Facebook, Snapchat. That's why you're catching all this hell. And nobody can say any different. Because everybody... Everybody has a social media. Okay, a lot of people have cable. Okay, so let let let's let's not act like this is not a reality. Okay, this is no longer reality. I mean, this is no longer fictitious, man. This is all fact. Okay, go ahead. Verse twenty. Wherefore the evils cleaved unto us, and the curse which the Lord appointed by Moses his servant at the time that he brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt to give us a land that flowed with milk and honey Man. like like as it like as it is to see this day nevertheless we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our power that's right according according unto all the words of the prophets whom he, whom he sent unto us yeah you, you ain't hearkened to it man you had top top shelf knowledge how to conduct yourselves, how to move, how to how to be a father, how to be a husband, how to be a mother, how to be obedient to your parents, how to be obedient to the most high dietary law. 